and you know our costumes weren't the most thermal. Hi Gemma, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well, yeah. How have you been enjoying this weekend? Um, yeah, it's been good. Lots of people here. It's very busy, isn't it? Very colourful and uh, lots to kind of look at. Is it nice to be recognised by some of the fans here? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to sort of be recognised and for people to come over and get some great feedback from the film. So that's, that's always a really nice positive thing when, you know, people come over and you can have a little chat with them. I like to talk. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> hey, you should be careful how you speak to people. I think you should be careful. Did you find Charlie on your little trip? I was getting worried about her actually. She's been gone ages. <laughs> Stay close. Well, let's just make it back to camp and work it out from there. We can go back to our camp. See if David's seen her. is Charlie she's ex-army she's Kate's best friend um, she's one of the leaders of the group but um, she doesn't take life too seriously she's a bit of a joker um, and yeah she's she's got a strong personality she kind of leads the group and um, she's a leader rather than a follower which is nothing like me <laughs> Uh, the others were saying it was quite a little family out in the woods and being all cut off from the world. How was it for you? It was. It was very much like being in a little family. You know, there was, it was, it was long shoots in the night, and you know, we all had to find ways of mustering through it. So there were a lot of practical jokes, a lot of pranks played, um, and a lot of you know humour that was going on sort of behind the scenes, which I think is really important when you've got um, you know the content that you see in the film. You kind of need to make things a little bit more lighthearted, otherwise you'll just uh, end up burying yourself. Doing a horror film, how, I mean, is it tougher than just, a, let's say, a drama? Um, it's very different, I think. I think it's very much depending on your character. So with this, you know, you kind of just... The genre is, a, you know, is one thing, but you're basing it around your character, really. So. My character, she's she's not a horrible character as such, um, so therefore, you know, it's it's not really like it's, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> One of the themes is that you don't know who to trust out of this group of friends, isn't it? Very much so, but isn't that the case in life? <laughs> How physically demanding was just actually just being cut off from the world and just really camping out essentially? It's very physically demanding because you're absolutely freezing in the middle of the woods, you know, six in the evening till six in the morning. Um, and, you know, our costumes weren't the most thermal of our outer garments. Probably not the most practical things to go hiking in the first place. Um, but we'll blame our costume department for that. <laughs> or lack of costume department? Or lack of costume department. Yeah, they were cutting bags. It was a budget film. What, what can you say? So were you involved in any of these practical jokes? Yes, I was normally causing them. No, it, was, it was generally sort of like me and the guys would play sort of tricks on people. Um, you know, I think, that's, I think that's really important. And we'd always have like a little boogie on set. We'd like crank up the tunes in the woods, have a bottle of beer and just have a little boogie and just kind of, you know, think life is sweet after all. Thank you very much. I would probably preferably be uh, the bad bad guy. Yeah, it's it's more fun.